If you would have told me three years ago, during my senior year of college, that during that year alone I'd lose my grandmother, miss my college graduation, move across the country for an internship, experience debilitating anxiety and depression to the point of mental breakdowns, and visit the city of my dreams for the first time, I would have told you that you were crazy and you must have had the wrong 20 year old because that did not sound like where my life was going. I wrote a screenplay that year, scouted locations, and casted a movie I never got to make. And all of those horrible and beautiful things did happen in 2017. But it was okay. I was okay. We were all moving forward. But then, if you would have told me that the next year I'd lose my dog, and watch my one and only bud die of cancer, and that I would be the one holding his hand when he took his last breath, I would tell you absolutely not. Because 2018 was supposed to be the best year of my life. But it happened. I felt more grief and betrayal in 2018 than I think I've ever felt in my life. I've never hurt so much. Then 2019 came around, and I just knew it would be even worse. Except it wasn't exactly. I went to Europe. Three times. I met people that have truly changed my life. And I had the time of my life with the best friend I will ever have. So the expectations for 2020 were pretty high. It had to be the best, right? A new decade, a year full of traveling, and then a global pandemic hit. But we rolled with the punches. We got back out there and traveled as soon as we could. Even through the tough parts of this year, it wasn't the worst. And then I went on a family vacation at the start of the fall. It was supposed to be a great reset and a time to relax. And it was. This incredible lady and I have a great time together no matter what. But I hope you know that our life, as fun as it seems, it's not perfect. Ever since I watched my granddad die right in front of me, I felt like I was stuck underwater. I thought I healed. I mean, it's been two years. But really, I've just learned to breathe with water filling my lungs. I'm still drowning. There's no way for you to know my story unless I tell you. But I've shared those dark parts of my past before, and I've never been more betrayed. So you'll probably only get smiles and the tales of joy that I've so carefully rehearsed for you. But I'm still broken. Some days I wake up and look in the mirror and wonder why on earth I'm even here. I'm fighting with my mind daily, pushing away debilitating thoughts of shame and fear, shoving down hatred for myself. I throw on some earrings and walk out into the world with a perky spirit and personality. But I still feel like I'm losing. If this vacation to the beautiful Tennessee mountains taught me anything, it's that slowly drowning is no way to live. Curled in a ball under my bedsheets, muffling my tears, is barely surviving. 2021 is a mystery I don't even want to think about right now. But I have decided that I'm only making one resolution. I'm tired of letting myself slowly wither away, scared to ask for help healing the gaping wounds in my soul. I'm tired of being afraid of everything and everyone. So Lord, all I'm asking is that in this next year, you allow me to accept that life isn't perfect. Give me strength to keep moving forward even when I'm treading water. And give me the courage to let people in, because right now, this burden feels a little too heavy for me to carry alone. I hope you all know that we're in this with you. We struggle, and we hurt, and we're not here to make our lives look glamorous because they're far from it. So if you feel like you're drowning, please reach out. You are so loved. You're more valuable than the finest gems. We'll be here to remind you of that. And we hope you'll join our family so you can remind us too. Because life is hard, y'all too hard to do alone. We love having you all here on this journey because it is a wild ride and no telling where next year will take us. We love each and every single one of you out there who are watching this video right now. And we hope that you will subscribe to join this grand adventure. All of the ups and downs and twists and turns that it takes. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all. Yachty! <laughs> 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 <laughs>